Hello and welcome to this video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom constraint annotation. So in cases where predefined constraints are not sufficient. So let's get started. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to use annotation from the standard Java EPA to validate properties. So for example, we use the size and the email to validate those two properties. However, the available annotation are in some cases not enough to do the check and you need to write your own annotation so let me show you how to do that in our example i have here this user dto entity so let's add for example a string let's call it uuid and we want to implement annotation to check whether this one is a valid one to achieve that we need to create a validator and after that we will create customized constraint annotation that implement the constraint annotation and base it on the validator created in this step so first let's have a look on our pom xml as already said should load the dependency to the specification and the implementation i'm using the validator from hibernate and we need also the expression language and implementation i'm using this one so first let's create the annotation and call it uuid it is annotated target we define it the target is field and retention is runtime and here it should be annotated with constraint from the validation specification and this is the name of our class the validator that we will implement later on and we need to provide two methods string a message so as default and this would be the message thrown when this, the annotated string is not valid for example so we are using expression language we have also to implement a groups so define so this is how to create to so that we have to provide this class this validator let's create a new class and the validator should implement this interface and it accepts the defined annotation and it is applied to a string we need to implement this one so our checker to check whether a string is valid we will use a regular expression so let's define this constant so the string is valid when the string is not null and the pattern matcher matches let's import this one so this is the implementation for our validator so now we are ready to use it so in our dto class we need only to annotate this one with uui so this is the annotation so this is a unit test to test our example i am creating a user dto and you see here we have a valid name valid email and this one is also a valid uuid so according to this annotation here so our test should succeed because the name is between 3 and 50 and this is annotated with email and the last one with uid so let's see if it works and as you see i am providing a valid uid so the test doesn't fail now let's add a new test case for example validate with invalid uu and let's change this and now we should have exactly one violation and the message contains exactly the message from here and we add this value let's run and as you see because we are providing an invalid uid so we have one violation exactly one and the message is exactly this string so this was a demo how to create customized constraints annotation i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and bye